Good morning. Welcome to the today's webinar of Technia Transcut about the Kava product, applying Kava to the automotive industry and also other industries. So I think we're just going to wait probably one or two minutes more as you still see people are joining. So I ask you for just a little patience. So, again, welcome to today's webinar. Before I'm going to, into the details of the presentation, some organizational tasks I'd like to mention. So I will do a presentation with sound with a web, go to webinar where you have already joined. You can join by call-in numbers or to web, web only. So right now, the sound is only being sent, so you're in listen-only mode. Later in the session, and after the demonstration, I will also open up the channel so you can ask questions later on. In the meantime, you may use the chat or questions options in the GoToWebinar to send your questions. So the sli slides will be shared after the webinar. You will see what I've shared. And so the, interact the presentation part of this webinar it will be recorded. I uh, will not record the, the questions in the interactive session. Okay, so what will we do today? So today we'll talk about the Kaba product and checking your design against international standards with Kaba. So Kaba is mainly aimed for automotive design or originally designed for automotive design, but there are also other use cases. We can use it in additional industries like industrial trucks or aerospace or other, other areas where you have vehicles with vehicles. So with Kava, I'm today we're going to talk about uh, an over, give you an overview of Kava. So checks in the vehicle architecture and mannequin area. We will focus on direct vision and wiper, but also on vision through cameras, mirrors, and other sensor analysis in cars and other industries. And I'd like to talk about the, the safety radius module, which allows you to check your design about minimum radius requirements in the exterior and interior of the car. So yeah, this, uh, in the end, I will summarize and show you the benefits. I can summarize the benefits, how Kava can be used to validate the digital model directly. Then I will go into a live demo and give you a brief glimpse of two or three highlights of, of Kava, and then I will end up start up the question and answer session. So let's go into the presentation. So Kava, what does it stand for? Kava actually is a product and the name is coming from an abbreviation that's CATIA V5 or the Motive Extensions for Vehicle Architecture. So in short, this product is designed to help you validate the compliance of your product design to legal standards and other standard-like requirements. How does it do that? So Kava will provide a set of legal standards and guidelines for vehicle concept and vehicle design, and it will supply. We are bring it as, as a, bring it into the CAD system as a design feature, so you can do your verification directly on the CAD model. So when we talk about standards, this can be standards from all over the world, so from the SAE and FMVS in North America but also the ECE norms from the European continent and also additional requirements from 
Asia and, and also Australia. So let's start with some user benefits, which you will see later on. So Kawa will bring you easy access to standards and car parameters. It allows you to define yeah, the car parameters in one place where you can define all settings for a certain car project. And Kava will bring the yeah it's, it will bring the features into the feature tree of your design, so it's applicable during all phases of the design process. So you can start in the beginning during the concept phase where you have still rough outlines of the car, and it will your analysis can be set up in, in this early phases and while the project evolves during the the draft phase, conception phase, component development, you can continue to verify your design in case your design changes or changes of the car parameters may violate any of your requirements or any of the legal requirements. So the analysis and verifications are from certain different areas. The, the OVA area which checks mainly the vehicle architecture. The functions about direct and indirect vision functions about safety of occupants and pedestrians, functions to analyze wiper systems, and also handle human aspects of a mannequin template or related elements in the so-called mannequin module. Now let's start for this presentation with the general OVA module. So what does the OVA module provide you? So it helps you to design and verify the vehicle packaging and seating plan parts of your of your design. So this is typically used in already in a very early phase of your of your concept concept phase when you have initial when you set up the initial parameters of a vehicle like vehicle size, also the vehicle seating points of, of the driver and the occupants, also how you place your wheels, everything like your know, center of the wheels and, and your wheel sizes and as well, it allows you to define loading planes, so you can do those analysis in different loaded states of your car. So OVA mainly handles about creating building spaces or limits based on the vehicle parameters. So it helps you, the designers, yeah, to check the car geometry during the engineering phase. So whenever he, or when the designer changes or create some, some design, make design changes, the components will be checked if they still in are in the desired working spaces or in the required legally required working spaces. So what kind of checks do we have in the vehicle architecture? One area is the underfloor checks. So in the underfloor area you can check your approach angle of your part, ramp angles, the overall cloud ground clearance and it will provide you with the boundary surfaces of yeah, the boundary limit surfaces which the car, yeah, the free space which the car must have in the underfloor area. So it will provide you the boundary surfaces, but it will also check your actual design if those boundary surfaces are violated. So one other area is the wheel covering. So it will also calculate if the fender covers your wheels sufficiently. So here it will have uh, European and Japanese measurement style and also Australian off-road style setting. So another area of the OVA module is the bumper pendulum, bumpers and crash barriers. So Kava will provide you with the shapes of crash barriers and the bumper pendulum. It will also position the pendulum and crash barriers exactly as it is required in the standards. So it will position it in the mid-rotated or shifted position. And also it will calculate the exact impact point on the car geometry. So this is available for the RCAR and IHS barriers, but we also have functions for the vehicle to pole check or the movable to formable barrier. And here as well, the, yeah, the impact points on the car will be created and displayed. So 
So another area uh, for building spaces are lamps, lamp positions and lamp visibility. So in various standards there are different types of lights and for each of the lamp types yeah, a certain building space is required where you can position it and where it's not allowed to position it. So Kava will bring this list of lamp types and it will provide the required building spaces for it and will check if your current lamp geometry will fit into these areas, if it's okay or not okay. In addition, it will also check the visibility of red lamps. So the, the lamps in the back of the car, if they are visible from the zone in the front, and also if, for example, if white lights, front lights are visible from behind of the car. So here it will help you to guarantee that here the legal requirements are fulfilled. In addition, it's also possible to check the visibility of the light emitting surfaces of of some la some lamps. For example, if you have uh, area type lamps like a direction indicator, so you can see if it's enough of yeah, if this light emitting surface is visible for all required corner points of of the defined U pyramids in 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 the standards. Related to the OVA checks is the mannequin checks. So mannequin module will provide you with a SAE template in different percentage sizes and will provide as well positioning and measuring methods according to the SAE standard. So the in the example above you see how you can position such a template in the car. So the inputs are either taken from your base data parameters like the seating reference point, heel points, or you can add additional user-defined inputs like the floor or the paddle. And then the positioning methods allow you to constrain this template exactly to the floor, to the paddle, or to any other points which you give as input. And as a result, you can measure certain values like the achieved joint angles, achieved, achieved positions. The system will also do a clash check, so it can check if the SAE template interferes with any component in the car. And it also features the measuring of the maximum and minimum legroom. For example, in the for the backseat passenger where there's a certain measurement required uh, that you move the foot on the floor forward until either a boundary angle of 130 degrees is reached or until it hits the, the front seat. So exactly these measurements are available in the mannequin module and can be used very flexibly inside the car. In addition to the mannequin template, it also provides you with functions to measure the Headroom in the car, according to SAE standards, and also it will make available to you the standard eye points or standard eye ellipses as they are required for vision tests in various legal requirements. That already brings me to the cover vision area. So in, car, in vision, it's very important, of course, to have the correct eye points. These are either the eye points in the European standards or the eye ellipses in the US standards. And CAVA here supports you in automatically creating all these eye points in the yeah in the required standards according to your needs. So if you're checking. A European standard, it will automatically use the European eye point. If you're checking for a US standard, it will automatically calculate for uh, with the uh, eye ellipses. So in, in the vision area, there are functions checking against yeah, for legal requirements, like the vision of the driver to the front in the European standard, that's ECER 125. And examples you can see on this screen, one is the creating the fields of view on the windshield, these are the so-called A and B fields. They depend on the size of the car, but also on the daylight opening of the, of the windscreen. 
and of course the wind stream. And these fields are important for further analysis, like if you're doing a wiper design, those fields have to be cleaned to a certain percentage. And also if you're checking the optical properties of your wind stream, it's important to fulfill the highest requirements in the A field and lower requirements in the B field. So the results of the CAVA analysis here of these A and B fields that you see, see here on the screen can be fed into the wiper analysis and yeah, it can be directly verified if the wiper cleans the A field to 100% or the B field to the required 85%. Also, vision to the front of the driver, important is detecting the reference points and view limiting planes on, on the windscreen. Also, this is in ECR 125 and the visualization you see on the lower hand picture, as well as the A-pillar obstruction that is checked is required in the European standards and that's a, yeah, what complicated measurement you have to take if you do it by hand, and Kava has an automized check to quickly check these A pillar obstructions according to the European standards. So, since we talked about the A and B fields, Kava, and I also mentioned it, Kava can further analysis these, or make use of these A and B fields in the wiper analysis. So, what does the wiper analysis do? The wiper analysis yeah, can, based on input of the wiper axis and the wiper kinematic model, we calculate the wiped area on the windshield. So actually it's intended for the wiper conception, so it's, you can easily play with the wiper input parameters. You may change, for example, position or orientation of axis, or also modify the blade length, and Kava will, all, on each of these changes, update the fields, the white areas on the windscreen, and show you immediately the percentage of, of, of the white area of the whole screen and also of the A and B fields. So in addition to calculate the white area, it will also give you some geometric properties or it will make an analysis of properties of your wiper system, like it, you can measure the curvature blade of the blade on the windshield or the normal deviation on the windshield or also the sag of the blade. So there are several quality properties of the wiper systems that you can visualize. Either you can have a screen feedback on a, a color, color coded feedback and color map based area. On this example you will see the curvature radius of the screen. So when the wiper designer can, you know, from this diagram, uh, analyze the quality of his wiper system. For example, in the above picture, you see a higher curvature radius in the, in the red area and lower curvature areas in the green areas. So this is a direct measure to the quality of the, of the wiping, wiping result. So in addition to Analyze, yeah, visualize this as a color map feedback. You can also create curves along the wiper blade or along the wiping direction to have a yeah, complete measurement and com compare these measurements to previous measurements. So while we talked about vision to the front based on, on legal properties, Kava has also functions to analyze vision in general, not also, it can help you to visualize obstructed areas in 3D or vis visible areas in 3D, like obstructions out the front view by pillars, engine, or hood. You may want to see which areas on the road are covered by my, yeah, by the hood or and, and by the by the fender. So it's possible to create those visualizations on projections of your, of your vision on target surfaces. These are functions that are not really uh, aimed to fulfill a legal requirement. It's more a general purpose function, but it has high importance for ergonomic aspects or comparison of design variants. One example, for example, is the view on the dashboard. 
So you may have blind spots on the dashboard due to obstruction, due to the steering wheel obstructing the view, and you can calculate such obstructions as you see in the right hand side lower picture, the obstruction of the steering wheel on, on the dashboard. So that's a very flexible function. And yeah. So I, I will, therefore, this function is not only related to car legal aspect, but it has a more general purpose. So I will later on show other applications of this function in, for example, the truck or industrial truck industry and the aerospace industry. Before I do that, I want to complete on the vision module, like the, we had talked about direct vision, now I'd like to talk about the indirect vision to the rear view mirror. So Kava has a function to calculate the vision field of the rear view mirror, so it's possible to calculate for the driver, passenger or inside mirrors, it's possible to have parametric mirrors for planar, convex or aspherical mirrors, and it's also possible to have a general CATIA surface as a mirror, as an input surface. So in CATIA you can make dynamic adjustments of the mirror glass, like rotating it around a center point, and of course the most important thing is it will calculate you the obstructed area of the required instruction field, either on the road or on the wall. So in many, in all the standards, FMBSS or ECE, certain area on the road is defined that has to be visible completely in the mirror contour. And if there is any obstruction to the car, it may not uh, be larger than a given value. And Yakawa will calculate you the visible area of the instruction field, and it will also calculate the percentage of blockage according to the required standards. So you get a clear indication if your mirror design would fulfill the requirements or not. So this function is not only uh, limited to car mirrors, to personal car mirrors. It's also possible to use it for other or more other mirrors. One example here is truck-specific mirrors. So in the ECE R26, there are also mirror types for trucks, like this passenger and driver wide area view, also close proximity mirrors, front for the ramp ang ramp mirror looking to the front. And yeah, these instruction fields that are defined on the road are also part of the Kava delivery. You can activate them and it's possible to analyze typical mirrors of, of trucks that do not look need to look like the typical calm, uh, personal car mirror, so it's possible to have all kinds of shapes as you see in the right hand picture below the typical shapes of, of truck mirrors. So as from the standards, we also provide truck specific eye ellipses. So the eye ellipses for truck drivers are a little bit different and they're so-called class B eye ellipses mentioned in SAE J941, which has, you know, slightly accommodates more to the seating position of a truck driver. And also these eye ellipses are part of the cover delivery and can be used for truck specific analysis like the rear view mirror or also the fields of view on the windscreen can be calculated with this truck specific eye ellipses. Now, I'd like to talk about other use cases which are not in the car area. For example, there are legal requirements in the area of industrial trucks like forklifts, loaders, earth moving machinery or agricultural tractors. Here it's often important to verify your view around the, the truck or the forklift, industrial truck, and here often the target surface is on the, on the road, so a certain circle or area on the road needs to be covered either by direct view, the mirror view, or indirect 
or camera views. It could be on the ground, but it could also show, as you see in the right-hand picture below, you want to see the obstruction of the view on the wall around the vehicle. So all these are maybe requirements in different areas, and also these legal uh, the standards are not per se included in CAVA. The function is flexible to be used to check your requirements from these legal standards or ISO standards with the help of the CAVA direct vision function. So since it's often a combination of direct vision from the eye points directly and also a combination of cameras, it's important to to see how Kava can handle cameras in this way. So camera view, or we call it sensor view in camera, in, in Kava, it will give you a possibility to define a set of cameras or sensors on your, on your model. And it will, Kava can provide you with a hidden and visible area for each of these individual cameras. And it will also and calculate a combined output of a view of a set of cameras. So use cases in, your, in the car industry for this, is, for example, if you have a camera instead of, uh, want to have a camera instead of a rear view mirror, you still have to fulfill the requirement that your camera has a full view on the instruction field mentioned in the ECR 46. So with the help of this function, you can create the vision cone of a camera, an idealized vision cone, and you can measure how much of a target surface will be uh, in the unobstructed view of the camera and also see the obstructed view of the camera. So with this function, you can do the same measurements like we have shown in the rear view mirror. You can check the percentage of obstruction on a target surface like the target surface of ECR 46 on the wall. So the camera shapes itself can be defined by vertical and horizontal uh, view angles and also by a so-called custom shape field of view, by a field of view cross-section. So this helps you to create the yeah, more, more realistic camera field of view. If you use this use defined camera shape, which you need to you know, request from the, actually you need this input from the camera manufacturer or the lens manufacturer here. So the same use case that you've just seen on the for cars in the camera area is also applicable to other sensor types. So sensor vision could not only be the visual image like camera, it could also be a UHF or radar antenna on an airplane, it could be a thermal image, or it could also be ultrasound sensors that behave in a similar way like the, you know, the distance detectors or your parking sensors in a car. So also here, the approach is the same. You can define vision cones and shapes of, of your sensor and also you can define a sensor length to indicate the range of such a sensor, like an ultrasound sensor, which has only a limited range. And yeah, based on that, we can calculate the interview of individual sensors or also a combination of many sensors. On the above pictures, you see, for example, one visible area of the view to the front. But if you do a combination of several sensors around the airplane, you can also calculate the overall obstruction around the airplane, so the area remaining combined view of the blind spots of this element. Okay, now I'd like to conclude with the safety radius product. So in the safety radius for the exterior, it's important to, in this area of analysis, it's important to guarantee that your design is achieving a minimum required radius on all reachable areas. 
So in the typical ECER 26 for the exterior, the reachability is checked by the contact of a sphere with a certain radius. So the benefit of the Kava function here is that it will calculate the reachability of points, so if they are contactable by the sphere. And if they are contactable, it will do the specific checks for these areas if if the minimum required radius in the bumper zone is okay or if it's in the general zone. And it will also handle special cases of radius in the grill and lamp area. So Kawa will here also create cross-section and cross-section views of critical areas that help you to document the critical areas on a model. So this is not only available for the exterior, there are also variants for the interior. Yeah, they are specific for ECR 21, where there is a, a pendulum check is performed. You have to calculate the head impact zone on the instrument panel, and there are different radius for the instrument panel, for the head impact zone than for other areas. And Karma has all these explicit rules for exceptions rules around the steering wheel, at impact zone, level of instrument panel, all these areas can be calculated and considered appropriately in this function. Another function in this area is the minimum radius for seats, which is more or less similar, but it it considers the area from ECR 17, so-called area one, two, and three around seats. Yeah, the last function in safety radius handles about projection measurement. So in the standards, there are some exceptions rules for parts that do not project out of the surface without, or the projection is below a given height. And Kava provides functions to measure the projection of elements out of the dashboard or out of its environment. Okay, so now I talked about the benefits of individual functions in general. Kava, you can install Kava, it will provide a new workbench for Kava vehicle architecture. It's deeply integrated into CATIA. So all functions that are created by Kava manifest itself in the feature tree of Kava, of CATIA, and they all also behave like features, real CATIA features. So whenever you change uh, input parameter, it could be a car overall parameter like the seating reference point, or if you update one of your analyzed vehicle geometry, the Kava feature will be updated and an up-to-date result will be presented to the user. So that's important fact so that you can use Kava yeah, from the early concept phase up to the design phase. To the yeah, finally, it helps you to support you in the homologation phase of your car. So now I've talked a lot in our presentation. I'd like to give you a short glimpse of the product in real view. So if you start so if you start Karma in Katia, you will see new toolbars for the specific Karma functions, and you set your functions via the buttons in, in the toolbars, and one example I've prepared here is the calculation of the safety radius analysis in the interior toolbar, so a typical cover function will provide you with an interface where you make your inputs, this one is a yeah, more complex functions. 
In the first hand, you have to add your base data, where you, the functions will take the car base data, like the seating reference point, the ground plane, or wheels, whatever is needed for these functions. In this case, it's the seating reference point. Then you have options, what kind of calculations you'd like to do. In this case, I selected creating the head impact zone on the dashboard and also to consider the excluded area and the level of instrument panel. Other parameters you see are parameters that are coming from the standards, like the minimum required radius in the head impact zone in the remaining interior. And of course, you have to do your geometry selection. And once you have done your inputs, you can do the calculations and the results. In this case, you see on one hand, the graphical feedback, and you see also the minimum radius result in the feature tree, where you have all your elements, the created elements, and they are also visible in the feature tree. What you see here is graphical feedback. Green points are OK points. Black points are unreachable by the sphere or pendulum. And we also have some critical points, red points. In this area. And Kava will provide you with additional analysis functions to have a closer look at these critical areas do an interactive check and you can do a measurement in this specific area where you can see the measured value at this point. And you can also create cross-sectional views of the critical points. which you can then use to, to document situations and, and contact points. That's an example of the safety radius measurement method. Here I can show you an example of the rear view mirror function. In this case, it's uh, applied to a truck. And here you see the truck specific instruction fields, like the white area view on the driver side, which is the brown area on the, on the ground. And the power analysis, here in this case, uses the truck standard and the passenger white position and we'll also use typical truck truck type mirrors for, for these areas which will provide this wide area vision and you will see on the, both the vision field of the left and right eye of this mirror and you can get the measurement if the complete instruction field is covered and if there's blockage on this area. So I think it's still. Mm -hmm. I would like to show one last example about cameras on this, in this instance on, on cars.
So in, in this use case, I would like to position the camera in the rough in the mirror position and see which area of the behind the car is visible or is blocked by the cam is blocking the camera view and especially I'm interested in how much which portion of the instruction field according to the requirement for rear view cameras that replaces the mirror will be yeah, obstructed. So I have here a target surface that is represents the instruction field on the wall behind the car and also instruction field on the on the road. And the green area is the yeah the view of the camera, the camera view represents the camera cone vision on the on the road. The red area is the obstructed view and you also see here the obstructed view on the instruction field. So in this case I can measure this area and yeah, make sure that this area does not does not exceed the, the allowed level. On last view, so this cannot only be used for individual cameras. So in the time of autonomous driving and other car surround view systems, it's often important to have a to check the coverage of several cameras on the car. In this case, I have set up seven cameras around these cars, rear view, mirror views, front views, and corner view cameras. And Kava can create the combined result of all these vision cones on the road. So for example, you see the areas around the car which are covered by this camera system. This is the blue area and the red area is the still the blocked area. So for these camera systems, I would need to take care to minimize these areas in, in the back that don't have these blind spots around the car. Okay, given that, I would be done with my presentation for today. I will now yeah, stop the recording and also open up for questions.